What's up, gearheads? It's Trev. Some of you might have noticed I've been running around with just one light on my bumper. That's because the bracket for the other one broke off. So I had plenty of video of uh, installing this light bar here. However, as soon as I started shooting, the battery in my camera died and I didn't have any more, so oops. So I shot all the video with my cell phone. That same day, my cell phone decided to do a factory reset on itself in my pocket and start speaking Mandarin or something to me. Uh, and it wiped my SD card. So I lost all the video of getting this bolted on. Now in my normal fashion, when it comes to me working on cars, it was a struggle. I got rid of Winky and Blinky. You might have noticed I had one light here and one missing over here. Actually, it was the other way around. That's because the bracket on this one broke. Wanted to get rid of this one. They sucked anyway. Well, when I went to take this light off, I uh, started with a wrench, spun around, put my cordless impact on it, spun around, put my 3 8 pneumatic impact on it. It spun around. I was able to hold it still, and then the, still I could not get the nut to come loose, so I put my half-inch impact on it. And that started it, and it broke the case, chipped the glass, and apparently the backside was rusting right out. Hence why the whole assembly basically exploded in my hand once I put the impact gun on it. So like I said, a struggle as usual. <laughs> but I managed to get the light bar on. Uh, typical eBay. It was missing a little bit of hardware. I had to finagle up a washer. Otherwise, here's my new light bar. It's a Cree. My buddy Mike over at the Oh Yeah About That channel put one of these on his YJ build. Uh, looked pretty good, looked pretty bright. He seems to like it, so I decided I'd try it out. They were having a half off sale. So I got it mounted up. I got it, I think, aimed. But I still have a little more work to do, so it won't be a totally dead video. I gotta wire it. By the way, Mike's got some pretty cool projects on his channel. He's got a badass YJ, he's got old Mustang videos, 370Z videos, and he just got himself a GTR. Worth taking a look at. Alright, so on my old lights, I had unsuccessfully routed the wires through the tubing here, and I just had them taped, you can probably see a little bit of leftovers, <laughs> electrical taped down my bar here. Um, removed all that wiring. I'm going to reuse the uh, relay that I installed for that right here. But I'm going to reroute the wires for it to that side. Since the wiring harness on the light bar comes out on that side. You guys have no idea how much time it takes to shoot video at this garage. I edit out so much traffic just to try to get good sound quality for my videos. Oh, I always have to stop and wait. It's a pain in the butt. I really want to buy a house and have my own garage. That would be nice. More traffic. It's a fairly busy road, what can I say? And this is the quiet section of it. Oh, well, crap. I guess that's what you get with a cheap freaking relay from Advance Auto. Damn. So the bracket for this relay is built in as part of the relay and it just cracked real stupid easy. God, I hate how hard it is to find decent quality parts anywhere. Screw you, China. Alright, so the wires on the light bar are way, way thicker. Much heavier gauge than the wires that I was running before for the lights. So I'm just going to run a new wire to the relay, the broken one. I took the end for the relay off this old wire. 
I'm going to take this yellow coating off this, pin these together, but not till after I crimp it on some new wire of the same gauge. I'll just run one big wire. Here we go. Now we'll hook that up to the relay. See how much wire we need. I'd say that keeps it out of the way of the wheel well pretty well, huh? Not too shabby. Comes out by the turn signal. Now I just need to meet these two up. I think I'm going to put connectors on the ends of these because I don't like the way this is routed just right down here. I'm going to do that for now, but I prefer to tuck the wire into here and then run it through, but I would need to drill a hole through this to get to the other side and then it can come out right through here and that'll be a much cleaner installation got those connected for now like I said eventually I'm gonna clean that up a little better but I'd like to use this light bar this weekend so that's what we're doing for now now I need to ground this end this looks pretty good right here now just like with the CB gotta take this apart Here's the two wires I already have run from my relay. Got a new 20 amp switch to put in. Okay, so we should be hooked up. But, lesson learned from the CB. Let's see. If this is gonna work. Like this before I put everything together again. The answer is no. So it's gotta be something with the switch. Cause I know my relay is working. Check this out. I have power ground, here's the switch source, so if I put power directly to it, you can hear the relay click. And... So I'm glad that I learned my lesson from the CB radio and didn't pack everything up right away, because guess what? These stupid three-pronged switches, because they light up, I had it hooked up wrong. So now... Now it's going to make a liar out of me. I just had the switch working perfect off camera. Are you... Yup. I got a bad connection. Hang on. Now you see, look at that. As soon as I turn off the camera, it works. And as soon as I turn the camera back on, it stops working. What the hell? There. My ground wire is a crappy connection. This green one right here. Maybe it's because the wire is stressed. Alright, well I'll try and tighten that up and run with it. Otherwise I'm going to call that good. Oh man! <laughs> it's got a spot in the middle and floods on the end. You can actually see the difference at this angle. At least I can from my screen. Pretty cool. 
makes my headlights look like they're in need of a serious upgrade. So with that, I'm sure the lighting on my face is freaking perfect right now. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. By the way, if anybody was worried, I put some electrical tape around this connector so it doesn't ground against the sway bar. And for the time being, zip tied the relay in place so it's not wobbling around too much. Again, semi-temporary setup. I just need to fasten some stuff down better. And I really want to clean up that wiring, but overall not too bad. It'll work for the weekend, so talk to you guys later.